Hey guys, welcome back from spring break. Hope you guys had a, a fun break. Uh, we are going to continue our work with The Young Man in the Sea. Uh, today we'll be doing chapter 10. Um, and if you're a little behind on what's been going on, remember all the videos for the previous chapters are on my channel. So uh, just go back to them either through YouTube or uh, they're all posted in Google Classroom too. So we're gonna do chapter 10 today. Lobster in the Parlor. Things go real good the first two weeks. I'm up with the sun every morning, raring to go. Have my toast and cereal and then run for the dock. Check to make sure Rose ain't leaking. Nope, dry as a bone. And then drag traps out to the end of the dock and lower them into my skiff. If you do it right, you don't have to lift much. Trap itself ain't that heavy, but it's got bricks in the bottom to make it sink. Anyhow, I'll load on, fire up the outboard, go down creek to the harbor, fetch a bucket of bait from Dev Murphy, then off again to wherever I'm setting traps. Setting traps, that's where the science comes into it. Everybody says so. You gotta put your trap where the lobster lives. Lobster crawls along the bottom, eating what it can find. So you gotta think what the, what the bottom might be like, even if you can't see it. Watch where the current whirls and how the shore comes down. Try to picture it down there. Mostly, it's a feeling you get that this is a good place to set a trap course there's about a hundred other guys setting traps too and you got to take that into account set too close to one of theirs they don't like it what they'll think what they'll do is tie a hitch in the line to your buoy as a signal to back off that's if they're being nice push it far enough buoys get cut then you got a trap on the bottom and no way to find it which don't do nobody no good anyhow by the end of the first week i get near a hundred traps in the water all baited and waiting for visitors the old saying is, first the kitchen, then the parlor. See, a trap is divided into two rooms. First room the lobster crawls into is called the kitchen. Kitchen has the bait bag and the lobster wants to get at it. But when he tries to leave the kitchen, only place he can go is the parlor. And there's no getting out of the parlor. Lobster stuck in there until you pull out the trap. Only thing, pulling the traps out of the water turns out to be a whole lot harder than putting them back in. I wait four days and then go back to the first string of traps. Can't wait to see what it caught. Picturing it chock full of two pound lobsters. But when I grab hold of the buoy and start pulling in line, it don't budge. Trap feels like it's been nailed to the bottom. I cleat down the line, rub my hands together and try again. This time it shifts a little, but then the rope slips through my hands and the trap clunks back on the bottom. How can a thing that's made of wood and sunk in the water feel so heavy? Finally, I figure a way to pull the rope up and keep it cinched around a cleat so it don't slip back. And that's how the first trap comes up, a few feet at a time. By the time it comes over the side, slick and dripping, my arms are shaking from the effort. But that don't matter because there's stuff in the trap. Lobsters, lots of them, and a bunch of crabs. Trouble is, all but one of the lobsters is too small to keep. They're real strict about that. It makes me sick having to throw back the shorts, but you gotta do it. Still, I do get one keeper, one down and 2,499 to go. Wake up, Skiffy. I jump up. Has the alarm gone off? But I'm in the living room, not in my bedroom, and it ain't morning, it's night. I'm getting there. Must have dropped off accidental. Figured to let you sleep, says my dad. You want? I'll fix us some supper. Got 12 keepers and a bucket of crab, I tell him. So you said, that's good. I can't recall the last time my dad fixed supper. It's only hot dogs in the fry pan, but still, that's something. Nothing wrong with hot dogs and beans. Except my hands are so tired and achy from hauling traps, I can barely hang, out to the, hang on to the fork. Had me a string of traps when I was your age. That's so? I go, watching him crack open a beer. Thirty traps, that's all it was. It kept me awful busy, though. Thought my arms was going to fall off the first few days. Then I got used to it. I'm already used to it. I'm just saying, he says, 200 traps. It's possible you bit off more than you can chew. I go, that's your opinion. He sucks on the beer. Dev Murphy give you credit? Yup, thought he might. I'm figuring this is the start of a long yammer. Him telling me what to do and so forth and stuff about what it was like when he was my age. Like dads and sons are supposed to do. But he picks up his beer and goes back to the TV couch. End of conversation. Anyhow, the dogs were tasty. Food makes me sleepy again, and I just about crawl up the stairs. 
Must have, because that's where I wake up the next morning in my own bed. Stupid alarm going, bring, bring, bring. Bring me some lobster, bring me some money, bring, bring, bring. What I really feel like is rolling over and hiding my head under the pillow, but there's bait to fetch and traps to pull, so I get up and dress and eat and do it all over again, and again, and again. After a while, it ain't as hard. Traps don't seem quite so heavy. Bait bucket is lighter. I can work all day and stay awake for a whole hour after supper. End of two weeks, all 200 traps are, are fishing, and I'm pulling 25 a day by hand. Averaging a pound and a half per trap, keeper size, and more crab than I know what to do with. Can't get nothing for small crab. Nobody wants it. Too hard to pick the meat out, but I don't care. I'm a lobster boy, and all I care about is the them crawly bugs with the big claws. Money in the bank. My brain is humming like a cash register, totaling it up, making change. Take out for gas and bait, I'm still ahead by $900. And next week looks to be better. Everybody says so. Like I say... Things are going real good. So naturally, that's when the crud hits the fan. Miserable, rotten crud by the name of Tyler Croft. So what do you think uh, his bully, Tyler, is going to pull this time? Um, leave your thoughts in the comments below. And we will move on to chapter 11 tomorrow.